everybody, it's Amy the Common Sense Cook, and I just wanted to bring you a quick video to show you my nightshade free um, AIP almost so, uh, guacamole. And it's so easy. What I've done is I've cut three tiny green onions into my food processor. If you have bigger ones, you can use one to two, it depends on what you like. I'm going to take some salt and fresh cracked pepper, add that on in there. Now, I'll tell you. This is pretty ripe, so this is going to be easy, but if you have one that's a little harder to get the stone out, squish it. And here's the easiest way to get avocado out of the thing without having to waste a spoon. Simply squish it out. I don't know how I even came up with this, but look how easy that is. We're going to add two halves of avocado, and that's for me and three little kiddos. You can always adjust these recipes if you need more or less. If it's a little brown, that's okay. Avocados are really hard to get completely right every time. So Now, I'm a little weird with mine. Um, feel free to experiment with this and figure out what you like, but I'm going to do the juice and one small lemon. I might do half if you have a large lemon. This is just what I happen to pick up at the store. They were tiny. Watch out for any seeds. That might not be too pleasant. All right, now I'm gonna do some vinegar. Just a couple little dashes. Some cilantro. Just however much you like. If you don't like cilantro, leave it out. So cilantro is one of those things, either you love it or you hate it. And now for my, oops, secret ingredient that I almost poured in there, crushed mint. Yes, indeedy, crushed mint. It has become one of my favorite things to add into ground beef. I'm just going to tap just a little bit in there. We're going to put our lid on our food processor and blitz it around, and I'll show you the end result. Our guacamole has been processed to a nice creamy consistency and now all we need is a taste test. No, you gotta look it. There you go. What do you think? Good. Oops, sorry I got it on your mouth. Sorry Jersey, no avocado for you honey. So what do y'all think? Is it good? Yep. yep. Thumbs up? Yep. Good job. Thank you guys for your taste test. Yeah, we want to try it one more time. Ah, oh, that's music to my ears. We decided to have taco salad tonight, so all I did was cut up some romaine lettuce, added our beef and some guacamole. Now, I want to remind you, if you're not paleo, oh, no big deal. Go ahead and add some sour cream, some cheese, or any other vegetables that you like. Um, just because you have food allergies or food restrictions doesn't mean that you have to eat bland, boring food. You can have awesome stuff like this guacamole. I hope you'll check out the recipe on the blog, acommonsensecook.wordpress.com, and I hope I'll see you next time. I want to remind you guys, there's no wrong way to cook except for to not cook at all. Have a great night, everybody.